This is a quick tutorial on how to use the new background color and background pattern feature on the SKU design tool. Background patterns and colors allow you to add multiple colors or background patterns to any given product. For instance, let's add a piece of artwork here. Here we've added a logo. Then we can come to the background tab and add background colors. If I wanted to make it green, for instance, I could do that. And then I could add another background color, uh, magenta, blue, red, whatever you like, as many times as you like. You can also then add patterns to any of these color layers to make them more interesting. For instance, I'll add this camo pattern. To this layer, I'll add a digital camo pattern. In here, I'll add another pattern. For each layer, I can change the color whenever I like. And switch between. You also want to make sure that if you add a main image, you drag it above your background layer. Once you save this product on the PDP page, the consumer will be able to select from these colors that you've set up. You can also set up plain colors along with patterns. It really doesn't matter. It's completely up to you. If you wanted to add art to a particular layer, you could do that as well. So on this layer, we can add an extra piece of artwork, say this little logo. and we'll add it right here. Then you'll see when we switch between layers, that artwork is only added to the layer that you added it to. So it's really up to you whether you'd like to have a global piece of art that you add through the Add Artwork button or a local piece of art that you add through the Add Artwork button here. For the layer where we added that artwork, we can also move it up and down in Z order. For instance, if I wanted it under, we could do that. And then put our global artwork oh, all the way on top. Patterns and colors allow you to add as many variations onto a shirt as you'd like and gives the consumer more choice. That's it.